Hello, friends. I'm Karina Chen with KarinaStamps.com, and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live video. I thought I would share kind of a fun origami Christmas card with you today. I'm sure most of you have already sent out your Christmas cards, but maybe you could start um, making them for next year. So I'll just talk for a bit and let people jump on. So like I said, welcome, welcome. Um, I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for about 14 years and I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and it's a beautiful snowy day outside. A little overcast, so hopefully there's enough light for everyone to watch what I'm doing. And I see Leona's here. Hello, Leona, how are you? If you're coming on, make sure you jump on and say hi so I can visit with you a little bit. Uh, if you like the stuff I'm sharing with you today, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. That is my website where you can order products. And if you're ordering less than $200, you can punch in this hostess code and it just links all the little orders together. And then I send you a thank you gift and some little products. Hello, Betty. How are you today? Nice to have you join me. And then what I do afterwards is this video is done. I load it up into YouTube. So if you want a bunch of ideas and uh, you want to stamp with me, just go to my YouTube channel at Karina's Creations. And uh, no space between the first two before Karina's and Creations. It's all one word. And then when you like or share my video, I like to do a little draw to thank you. Uh, for liking and sharing my video and last week I drew Liz Adolph's name so thank you for watching and commenting Liz well I see Margaret Ann's on here Cindy's here hello hello and so I'm gonna give Liz the resin heart embellishments as a little thank you gift I thought this was perfect since you know what's the next holiday that's coming up it's gonna be Valentine's Day and I love these because you can just add them on any kind of an um any kind of a card, right? Even a friend card could have a little heart. So super cute. And I see Betty's already liked and shared. Thank you, Betty. I appreciate that. When you like and share my videos, it helps me because it uh, puts it into your newsfeed and then more people see the videos. So that's huge. And if you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I'm getting close to a thousand followers. I think I need... I don't know, 45 more, and then I can start doing some YouTube live videos. So that's super fun as well. Okay, so let me just go over what's coming up with Stampin' Up! quickly. I had my notes here. What's going on? Okay, so Eden's Garden is a promotion that is going to be retiring right away. The stamp set's rolling over, but the beautiful cotton paper... Oh, I should have made a tree out of the cotton paper. The beautiful cotton paper is not rolling over. And same with the beautiful designer series paper. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get it before the end of December, beginning of January. Because uh, once it's gone, it's gone forever. And then I really liked the jewels that went with it. I thought they were really pretty. Let's see if I have any jewels. I've been using them so much. Like, look how beautiful these are. These are not rolling over either. So if you like them, make sure you get them before January. I think third is the last day. Don't hold me to that. It's something like that. And then on December 27th will be our virtual card class. And we're going to be using Encircled in Beauty stamp set and dies. Because look at these dies. Aren't they beautiful? So we're going to make a corner fold card. And then this will be another one of the cards we're making. And then the third one is a little bit of a fancy fold. And there's the Eden's Garden Designer Series paper. I just love the colors so much. So it's an easy fancy fold, but pretty. And that's going to be on December 27th in the evening. So I've got my card kits cut and prepped and ready to go for that. And then on January the 4th, if you're not doing anything, I'd love for you to join me at my catalog kickoff party. So we're going to make three cards. It's actually going to be on Zoom. I'll have some demonstrations during the day on Facebook. But I thought that would be really fun. So you can just RSVP on my page. And if you're wondering where to sign up for all this stuff, if you're on my newsletter, I uh, email you sometimes weekly, sometimes every two weeks. It just depends what's going on with Stampin' Up. And then January 29th, I have a stamp camp coming up and we're going to do a technique stamp camp this time using the brand new stencils and embossing paste. And we're just gonna play and make some really cool cards. So that's coming up January 29th. Okay, I think that's all 
I wanted to show you with that. Okay, so let me show you how to get this, how to make this fun card. And if you want, you can actually stamp along with me. So I recommend that you get two patterns of designer series paper, and we're gonna cut five squares to make this. So it's really easy, but fun. And I'm not a huge origami fan, but I can do this so everybody can do this. I can be origami challenged at times. Okay, so let's set this aside and we'll go like this. And then the next Facebook Lives are all gonna be new products. So I thought I would sneak this one in. Can you believe it's Christmas right away? I just can't get over that. I'm still, I think I sent out Christmas cards yesterday. I'm a little behind. Okay, so what are the three sizes that you need? You need one piece of designer series paper, and this is gonna be three and a half by three and a half. You need one piece that's three inches by three inches, one piece that's two and a half inches by two and a half inches, and another piece that is two inches by two inches, and then one little guy that's one and a half inch by one and a half inch. Now I am using the, I think it's Timeless Tidings designer series paper that's in the annual catalog. So it's available anytime. And then some early espresso cardstock. And I've already embossed this with the Timber 3D embossing folder. See the texture, isn't that beautiful? I love that. And then of course, this Musical Notes embossing folder. I've already embossed the basic white cardstock. And, or oh, sorry, Merry Melody embossing folder. But I thought that was beautiful. And then I had to do the fa la la. Isn't that cute? And that comes from Jolly, Holly Jolly Wishes. Now I'm not sure which products are still available because they could be on the retiring list. I haven't really kept track this time. Usually I'm really good with that. Um, but my tip is if you like some of the stuff I'm showing you, see if you can pick this one up if it's available. This is a keeper. And then also the Arctic Bear. We did some Arctic Bear cards last night and they were super fun. I love that set. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I think I'll just start with the largest one first because it's the easiest. And I want this pattern to be my outside. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold it in half on the diagonal. Mine might not be perfectly lined up I find in videos it's a bit tricky because I'm not directly over my project. The camera's in the way. Okay, let's see, I'm a little off on this, but let's see if I can fix that. And you go like this. And then we fold it again the other direction like this. And it really helps if you have your bone folder to make nice crisp creases. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, so this is the outside, we're going to have the wrong side facing up, and I'm going to fold that in half. See if this works. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is fold it, so this is the right side that I want. See, it creates these little triangles with a score line in the center, so we're just going to push these in like so, and then we're just going to Score it. So now you got one nice triangle, and then I'm bringing this point into the center of my little tree. And you could take a pencil if you wanted to mark it, but you know what? If you've ever watched me make cards before, I'm not that particular. I just think my cards are made with love, and they don't have to be straight. They just have to go in the mail to people and uh, be beautiful and made with love, a little crooked. Okay, let's just pull that over now. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing these two sides into the center, and that's it. Can you see how easy that is? Now we're gonna do that a few more times. So this is the bottom of my tree. Isn't that cool? And I think this would make a super cute tag as well. Um, okay, I want this to be my outside, so let's do it again. So I recommend that you grab a piece of designer series paper and do this along with me. Because once you do one, then the rest you can do after, right? It's just so easy. See, and I'm a little off. Yeah, that's okay. That'll be good enough. Okay, and then we'll just fold this in half. And then we'll get this pinched and we'll pull the sides in. 
that's why if you use your bone folder and get nice crisp creases, it makes it a little bit easier. And again, we're bringing this point into the center of my triangle, but we're kind of pulling it down. It's not going right into the center. It's coming down. How would you describe that? Someone put a nice word in, in the chat for me on how I'm describing this fold. I'm not really sure. Isn't this fun? Okay, there's number two. Can you see my tree taking shape? Okay, and then we'll just do this one. I was gonna pre-do these for you guys, but then I thought, well, by the time you watch me do this five times, I fully expect to see everybody sharing their beautiful cards on my Karina's Creations group. That's kind of my group that I have for crafters who stamp with me all the time. Um, it's, a, it's more of a private group, just so we can stamp and share things. And this, my business page where I do all my Facebook Lives, it's a public group where anybody is welcome to watch. Okay, what do you think? Are you loving this? Like, how easy is this? Um, I think I will. I do need some Christmas tags. Maybe I will do a couple. Okay, now see this one, you kind of want it to be centered. So this one, I didn't pull it off far enough. Pull it over far enough to the center. So you just refold it. That's why you really can't make a mistake on this origami Christmas tree. Okay, that one's done. And then I will do this one quickly. So again, we'll just do the diagonal score lines like so. And you know, this would be great if you want to stamp with kids because this would keep them busy for hours. Like how much designer series paper do you have laying around? You can give them scraps and they can make a whole bunch of these trees and it'll keep them busy. I don't know. I think it could even kind of be like a masculine birthday card, depending on the paper you use. It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. I didn't put a star in there. Okay, and then it gets a little bit trickier as you get to the smaller pieces, but I still think it works pretty good. Don't you love this? I seriously love this paper. This is one of my favorite patterns. Yeah, Betty, grab some paper or else we rewatch this video after I'm done. I think you'd really have fun with this. And we have so many beautiful designer series paper in the annual catalog and the mini catalogs that I think it would be really fun to try, right? And it's just folding. Like I said, the hardest one I find is this little guy here. Uh, see, let me pull it this way. Just because it's smaller. Okay, so let's pinch in these sides right here. It's just so teeny, right? so teeny and look I got you know I ripped the paper a little bit so you want to see how I fix this it's going to be the back you go ah oh, all better see really you cannot make a mistake you just fix it okay there we go and then let's get this little point here okay what do you guys think that's it what did that take five minutes maybe um, and then, of course, if you have children, well, that's some um, little helpers you can get to help you with your card. And now I'm going to throw this together quickly. So this we're going to put on the inside of my card. Let's do the easiest part first. And I think I'll use some liquid glue. Is there any left of this? I've been making, look, it's empty. That goes in the garbage. I've been using, uh, making so many cards that I'm out of my glue and if you ordered an adhesive share for me, I just got them in last night and they'll be ready to go right away. Hopefully by the end of this afternoon. Okay, and again, I'll put this designer series or this uh, basic white paper that has been embossed with the Mary Melody folder. This is another one I highly recommend. I'm not sure if it's still available though. It was well supplies last. Did you say this was from the, I think Betty, from the annual catalog? The paper's from the annual catalog. That's what you were asking. Okay, now what I did was I kind of started from the bottom and I'm just gonna glue the back down. 
Now, if you haven't made a card before, you might wanna lay it out, but because I have a template already, I kinda know where it needs to go. So I think this one, let's line that up. Oh, goes up a bit higher. Okay, let's put that right about here. And then if you want, you could glue all these flaps together, but I kind of thought, you know, it's cool. You open it up and it expands. Okay, now I have a bit of a room to put my little stump that I created. Yeah, it's a bit too long, so let's trim that down. I just cut it at half an inch. Is that gonna be enough to go up there? Yep, half an inch, and then I embossed it with the Timber 3D embossing folder. Isn't this fun and easy? Where's my easy button? I need an easy button. Bam. Okay, I think that's looking a bit cute, but uh, let's move my stump over. It's not quite centered in a tree, but is a tree perfectly symmetrical? I don't know, maybe it is. My tree is not. Now, oh, I shouldn't have glued that down yet. Actually, maybe you do want to start with the top one. I did this last night and I don't really remember. But because I did liquid glue, I think I'm safe. Okay, so actually start with your top one first. Now, because I didn't do that, I'm just gonna keep going with this. I'll just lift it up and put my layers in. That's why I love this liquid glue. It's very forgiving and uh, you can just move pieces around as you need to. Okay, almost done. This is like my fastest Facebook Live ever. I do have something else I was going to share as well. But isn't that pretty? So if you're not a card maker, I think you'd be wowed by this card. It looks really fancy and really hard. And like I said, it's not. Now I think you could put a star or something. We do have some stamp sets that have some beautiful stars. So you could easily do that. I wanted a sentiment on it. So I went and cut a piece of basic white cardstock with our um, stitched rectangle dies. These are a classic. If you're looking for where all the product information for this card is, I put it on my blog today on uh, karinastamps.com. So you can check that out. I need to, I think I need to pop this up though. So let's get out my little dimensionals. And of course, you know, everybody needs this take your pick tool. Every stamper should have this in their little stamping tool kit, along with the bone folder. If you're new, they're kind of indispensable. And look, today it's clean. I found a new one. Center Stage 2018. Wow, that just seems so long ago. It's almost four years ago. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now I'm missing something. I need to, I don't know what it is. I have to put bows on my card. And I should have ordered more of this. This is my favorite little embellishment right now. I think if you watch my videos lately, it goes on everything. Oh my goodness, it's a little crooked because it's easy to tie and it goes on nice with a glue dot. So I just make two little loops and we just put the top loop through the hole I created in the center and give it a little pull. And it's got a bit of texture in the trim so it uh, the knot holds. And I'll just trim it like that. We'll put that off to the side. Okay, I need a glue dot. Now our glue dots were back ordered. Hopefully they're available soon. Uh, the glue dots, you gotta peel them back. There's one right there. And then I will put it on here and then we'll stick it on there. And there's my card. What do you think of this one? Do you like it? Did you say this was from the, you know what, Betty? This is not Eden's Garden paper. Although this square was Eden's Garden and look how similar it is. So if you have Eden's Garden paper, I would totally use this to make your trees. This is the Christmas version called, um, this one here. So this is the paper pack I'm using right now called Tidings of Christmas, right? But the colors are very similar to Eden's Garden. So I think personally, I'd make this same tree using the Eden's Garden designer series paper because look, it's almost identical. And then instead, the only thing I would change is add a little gold bow instead of a silver bow, right? To coordinate with the gold flecks in this paper. And we did use this paper, I think, did we use it last night? I can't even remember now. Maybe we didn't. 
sometimes I forget what we made. Okay, so that is this card. And then I was going to show you something else really quick. Oh, I forgot something. Hold on a second. We didn't stamp our inside. Right? So we need to stamp Merry Christmas. And I'm using my Evening Evergreen ink. So let's just finish this off. I think I need to mail this out. Maybe whoever comments, likes, or shares will get this card in the mail. Although I guess it should be um, Happy New Year then. Can, I still can't get over that Christmas. Is this, is it Saturday or Friday? I don't know. It's crazy how fast it came up. But isn't that just gorgeous? Love it. Okay, there's two done. And then the other thing I was going to show you very quickly is... Who gets Paper Pumpkin and who got the Paper Pumpkin kit for December? Now, I'm going to show you how to do a super quick card. If you didn't get this kit and you want it, um, you can... I have one extra kit. I always get two. So this is called Lots of Pun. And I mentioned that I had a paper share that just came in and I had somebody who wanted to pick it up right away. So I had five minutes to make a card and this is literally what I did. So this is not gonna be a wow card, but uh, I thought it turned out pretty cute. So let me show you what I did. One of the favorite things, one of the things that I love to do is make a mini card. So it's six inches by three inches. And then we're just gonna fold that in half. I like so. And then I cut some Daffodil Delight cardstock at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you'll notice the paper pumpkin kits come with a little spot. So this month it's early espresso. I don't want to open this. I just, I just don't want to open it yet. I'm just going to use my black just because. And does that look inked? I love these photopolymer stamps. Look at that little banana. And I'm not, I'm actually going to keep this one because the sentiments are hilarious. A toast to your success. There's toast, egg, it says ex excited for you. Um, peel better soon. Like, oh my gosh, these are so funny, these sayings. And half the time I get paper pumpkin, not so much for the kits, but for the stamps because the stamps are exclusive to paper pumpkin. So this one kills me. Okay. So let's give them some eyes. Thanks a bunch. So, you know, I thought that was kind of cute, but you know, I wanted him to look like a very scholarly banana. So let's give him some glasses. Is that not the cutest little banana ever? And then what I decided to do was we're gonna add some accents. If I can find my brand new chalk marker. Ooh, I moved it. That was a big mistake because now I have to go hunting for it. Anyway, I have a white chalk marker. So I would, I put some accents along where the banana is. Let me just check over here because I just finished my card. Mm, nope, can't see it now. And I would get a new one if you haven't used it for a while because it does make a difference. And then I'm just going to use a brand new gingham embossing folder. I love this. So this is available in the brand new mini catalog that's coming out January 4th, I believe is the day. I'm pretty sure that's why I scheduled my catalog kickoff party to be the 4th. And let's pull in my die cutting machine. You can tell I was prepping for my last card class. I didn't even clean my plates. Really, you should clean your plates or get a new plate. But you know what? I think this is still going to work. So let's see. I think I need this. And it's not a thick, I don't think it's a thick embossing plate. And look, do you think Santa needs to bring me new plates for Christmas? I do. I think Santa needs to uh, hopefully put one under the tree for me. Actually, I do have a spare set somewhere. I just decided to show you this at the last second, so not really prepared. Okay, and let's see what I think of him. See, look at the texture on that. Is that not fun? 
And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm just checking to see. Oh, here's my chalk marker. Okay, this is why you need a chalk marker. See, look at that. It just adds a little bit of color to it. And then I can just pop that up on here. And my super fast card is ready to go. I'll just get some dimensionals. Let's pop them up. And that was what, a two second card? Right, and then I've got one more done for my adhesive share. I just wanted to thank people for being in my adhesive share that I ran. So super cute. So anyway, if anybody loves this set like I do, you can actually let me know. I've got one left, one kit left. And the other thing I should mention is if you do a lot of three by three little thank you cards, they're perfect for gift bags and stuff, you can purchase a three by three envelopes. They're in the annual catalog. It looks like this. And then of course you can stamp a little banana on the front as well. And then it's just missing one more thing to make it cute. Let me get my embellishments. Look at my mess. I was showing this last night. Oh, it's such a mess right now. Uh, where'd my take your pick tool go? Well, it's a good thing I have two of them. Then I have one where it's supposed to be. And one that will show up later when I'm done my Facebook Live. Okay, what do you think? Super cute. So I just wanted to show that just because it's fun. And then if you, you know, if I sell out of this kit, you did not get a kit, but you love puns. I had this stamp that I wanted to show you. So this is in the annual catalog. And look, it also has thanks a bunch. It's got a banana. It doesn't have cute little eyes or glasses, but you know, it's got a girl. So if you love uh, puns, <laughs> we do have one in the annual catalog. So don't be sad, you can get this instead. And it's super cute. So I wanna thank you so much for watching me today. These are my cards. I would love it if you would like, share, or comment, especially subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is the nicest compliments I could get. And before I leave quickly, I was just gonna show this. So let me pull the addresses off. Do you guys wanna see what I got for Christmas cards? I gotta share this. I just love seeing these. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, who's it from? Ooh, that's from Kathy. So cute. I think that might be a paper pumpkin kit. I haven't opened my one from last month. Ooh, look at that one. Isn't that one pretty? That's from Anita. So Anita, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love getting swap cards in the mail. This one is from Nez. So thank you, Nez. Oh, look at that fancy card. Isn't that fun? Wow. That is super cute. I'll read the cards after. I just wanted to show you how beautiful these are. Some of these are from team members. Some of them are from customers. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. There's that tidings and trimmings paper again. This one is from Terry. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Let's see what this one is. Isn't this fun? I love seeing what people make. Oh, look at that. There's another origami tree. Okay, this one looks a lot easier. Okay, which smart friend did that, Liz? Oh, I think that's Liz. Yes, I think that's Liz. Love it. How fun is that? Okay, there's another design. This one is from my friend Lindsay. Oh my gosh, is that super cute? I think this could be a paper pumpkin too. When I say I think, you can tell I have not opened my paper pumpkins. This one was from Peggy Ann, and I love how she did all the designer series papers. And then this one is from Stella, so really pretty as well. This one is from Sandra. And I love this one too. It's just a beautiful paper with this stamp set. And this stamp set is in the mini catalog and I haven't got it. And now I almost think I need to buy it if it's still available. Just because I love it. And I have one other project to show. This is from Joanne. Let's see what Joanne made. Oh my goodness. My friends are such wonderful card makers. Uh, oh my goodness, you guys. Sneak peek of the new catalog. 
Who Needs an Otter? It's going to be a free celebration stamp set. That is seriously the cutest thing. Look at all the detail in that. Okay, that's from Joanne. I love it. And then look what else Joanne made. She also made a notebook. So this is another celebration item. So I just thought I would share with you guys. This is so fun. And uh, Betty, I'll, I'll get back to you on the paper pumpkin kit because uh, it is super fun. So I'll make sure I save that for you. So thanks for watching me today, ladies. And have a Merry Christmas. I'll be back on Tuesday, which is after Christmas. So have a happy holiday. I may or may not jump in. I'm not sure what's going on yet. So we'll see. So happy holidays. Thanks for watching me and supporting me. And have a fabulous holiday, everyone. Thank you. Bye.